Hello there, YouTube, and welcome to another video by Dr. Carlo Oger. Yeah, here um, doing a video for ED Exit Video Pro, where you'll find education for healthcare professionals intended for more specifically to emergencies and things that we encounter in the emergency department. Today's video, it actually has a video content of a patient with an eye injury, and I've been sitting on this one for months, maybe even a year. Yeah. May of 2019. So you can see this patient has, let me pause the video right there, has this um, teardrop shaped pupil, you can see right here, and it's got this other section right in the middle of the screen, kind of like uh, 9 and then uh, 10 o'clock, this little brown thing popping out, a little blood on the canthus or the lateral side of the eye. Patient was um, doing some kind of construction, and I either it was a piece of wood that kind of jumped back at the eye and hit him in, in the eye, obviously sustaining a small laceration of the canthus and this injury to his eye. He could see out of his eye, he was not in a lot of pain, but if you can see right there, a little brown bubble, uh, so you got the teardrop shape of the pupil of the eye, and at the vertex or at the pointy end, you see this brown little bubble. Um, that's actually the iris popping through the cornea. So you got the iris is the color part of the eye right over here. And this here is um, part of the iris. So this patient had a penetrating globe injury, which definitely needs emergent treatment and management. Um, most of these patients will develop endophthalmitis, which is an infection of the eye, 2 to 7% of them. But if you start antibiotics promptly and do an emergency uh, trauma eye consultation, then that chance dropped to less than 1%. The major finding here is the teardrop pupil. In other words, that pupil that looks uh, thicker on one side and thinner on the other, and it points towards the hole, basically. And the iris um, muscle is popping through that uh, there. He was sent to an eye doctor at a different hospital because we don't have uh, ophthalmic consultation. He ended up having surgery in the eye. He did not lose any visual acuity. And this was a few months later. We saw the patient again. Actually, he was here visiting with another family member. And you can see that they operated and removed part of the iris there, uh, repaired the cornea or the defect where the uh, hole was. And now he has a really... Um, and is a cortic, uh, abnormal shaped um, pupil. And you can clearly see, even with the light of the iPhone here shining, you can see this fundus, that's the pink vision there um, on, on the center of his eye. He did not have any traumatic cataracts, which is a very common occurrence when there's trauma um, to the eye like that, it goes through the lens and it causes cataracts and things like that. His visual acuity, like I said before, uh, remained intact. He did not suffer any visual loss, but he did suffer the loss of a normal looking eye. It has this weird shape, we call that anisocoria, meaning that it doesn't look the same size or shape. Again, this is initial injury and how the eye looked. Teardrop shaped, you can see the iris muscle popping through the, the, the pointy edge that is pointing to the injury. So it's a penetrating globe injury. Please refer to the video I just posted before um, demonstrating a metallic foreign body introduction. Um, that's it. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something from this video. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.